You're now ready for your egg collection procedure, which is a critical step in your IVF treatment process. You would have taken the final injection. That's your very last injection, which is called the HCG trigger. That injection allows the egg to complete its final maturation and to get detached from the wall of the follicle. Egg collections are planned 36 hours after that final injection. So the date and time that you will be admitted to the ward for egg collection will be based on that. When you come into the ward, you will be admitted by the nursing member of the team. You will then be seen by the doctor who does your egg collection, who will explain the procedure to you again and complete some consent forms. You'll also be seen by the consultant anaesthetist who's going to deliver the sedation under which your egg collection will be performed safely and painlessly. The egg collection is done under ultrasound guidance. You will be scanned exactly the same way as your monitoring scans, but this time a needle is passed by the side of the probe into the ovary and we collect the eggs transvaginally. So there are no cuts on your tummy. You won't feel anything because you're under sedation. It sounds difficult, but it is a fairly straightforward, simple procedure and takes about 20 to 30 minutes to complete. At the end of the procedure, we hope to get approximately 80% of the eggs that are there. When their collection is completed, you'll be taken to a recovery bay and then back to the ward to your own room where you will be given plenty of time to recover. Sometimes you may require additional pain relief which will be provided, but most importantly, you'll be given something to eat and drink so that you're nice and comfortable before you go home. Your partner would have had his sperm sample looked at as well. Before you leave the ward, a member of the embryology team will come and see you to confirm the number of eggs collected and that the sperm sample is suitable to go ahead with the treatment as planned. After you've gone home and you're in the comfort of your own surroundings, we will, however, always be in touch with you. Every day you will get a call from the embryology team to update you on how your embryos are developing and then to give you a time and a date for your embryo transfer. Mm -hmm.